Oh, they won't walk back. Sorry, go that's and I did some major, major off-screen training. And also, um, when I was recording, the sound got messed up because they're really desynced, really extremely desynced. So I had to do all the all the parts that are desynced and speed them up in there and and put them all as one part, which I'm doing at the moment. And make I change your map, to add Kanto to your map. So I was putting out a tile error, and Amelia, your latest rival, comes up, and she made a jump with a tang, and I thought. It had to be level. I thought it would be a better girls, but I think it levels up at 48. I honestly searched to take it out, and we got that girl spoke about I can't pronounce the name. I think it intimidates to test out Iron Tail, and it works phenomenal at the moment. I think I'll use it once throughout this, throughout my whole way to the Pokemon League. I still comes out and I take out Sleepway, of course, which is like, extremely epic, I guess. And I take out Melia just like that. Okay, yeah. There you go. Um, now we're going to Toho Falls, and it's, it's obviously pretty short, as you can see. And now we're in Kanto, and that is the first trainer in Kanto. She has, uh, in the video, she had a Venusaur, a Bubble Star, and Ivy Star, but they changed it, and you'll see soon. I mean, oh, yeah, what? Who do you for a certain spam? Fly, I mean, Psychic. Not like a confusion, but it didn't do much, so I started to be on fly instead. And that one Pokemon, Mega, whatever, however you pronounce it, comes in and, yeah, just take the side of these. And I was checking something, as we just saw in the corner, that a 40 thing just opened up. And, no. Uh, Baby powers are great, what else can be wrong? And spam, and his body slam gets a critical hit, and I was caught up. Frustrating there, in my opinion. Fly does about half. And I take it out. Good for me, and. Get tired, and I bring it in turn 8 to body slam. A body slam straight, and it just. Just KOs it easily, because in turn 8 is just a beast. I mean, he's extremely a beast. And we're gonna pick. I watch a great girl friend, because I thought there'd be some mission in it. And that was a really big mistake, so this guy has a deadly time as well, it has a magnet pull, so I can't switch out. I should go for a thunder wave, and I try to switch out, but then that, that's when I figured out how to magnet pull. I saw this, I was spam spark, and it was lagging right here, oh my god. The pens are going to be the to leave blade, obviously. So I'm recording right now, seeing when I was recording, so. Um. Whatever. Uh, oh, Executor, and I spam, spam flying, it's flagging, and then, holy crap, how, she, how does this going lag? I so I teach Earthquake to Skull Tiles, so you see that means that I guess. So you take out stuff like electric, those pesky electric types that no, I have no super effect in again. So, so that's going to be pretty helpful for me. And, um, I'm oh, too tired. Okay, okay, there we go, we start running, and this guy's a stand slash, I'm thinking, oh okay, great, bad matchup, bad matchup, bad, bad matchup for Chip Magnus, so I'm just going to the Ruga Mesh. Do surf, it swifts, and I'm thinking, wow, I never use stand slash, can learn swift. So, you know, you learn something every day, and, what else? Here we go, comes up. Hey, he moves on the Starby, and that's really good matchup against uh, Chip Magnus, since, you know, water ain't too good to get it, and, like, and so gonna get some electric chip magnet. So now uh, that I bring Skeptile, um, I put some in my head out that way since I assume it so I could bulk you or something like that. But I end up KOing it and I bring a Google match against it. Draft Ridge. <sighs> I have no, um, what's the name for it? I don't know, any moves are effective against it, like, no bug move or whatever. And she also has a Starry, so it's again another good matchup for Chick Magnet, so very rapid spins up with the what the heck. That was kinda of stupid of it to do, in my opinion. And you know Queen, I mean Green Gamesh it's as part ground, so and Green Gamesh can take it out with the Surf easily. And it does, and she has another Starmy, so um, I think I'll go back to uh, really yes, because he needs some experience, he's almost level 256, so I thought to punch just for the tricks and giggles and see how she can do. Is also able to KO just like Leaf Blade, and I mean that's cool trading. And that guy has about a lot of really high leveled 
but it's actually easy for you to take down. And yeah, who did so uh, to level you up? So why don't I just put it up first? I have to wish cast a type of hypnosis, but it doesn't happen. And I hear a type of hypnosis, does not happen. Finally, it hits, you know, third time the charm. And to the future side of the beast, I fly from the other stretch of And I do nothing, and uh, stores uh, to a scary fly. I'm not really doing good, so I switch out to Yasset's Leaf Blade for a person's effective damage, obviously. And somehow Future Sight failed, I'm not sure how. I think I only worked on the original Pokemon. I mean, who is so nice to get some experience, and I can't stay because it's pop poison and poison is weak against psychic, so you know, good opportunity there. And, um, bring in Yasset to take down the Seeking, and I think it KO, and it does, for some reason I think it might make, because. I don't know, it could have made uh, not made one, um, um, um hor horn jelly might hit. An SBR had, uh, really tenacious. I don't know, actually. I think my friggin', friggin', girl, girl, mesh, but I'm not sure why I did, did it. I'm sorry, straight to finish it off. Level up, which is pretty good, I guess. And Yas, I'm not Yasin. Um, it's really just getting a couple of experience now. Now, uh, Save there because you could never know if, if I could lose from that fisherman that only has a biotic 65 biotic and it's pretty high leveled. But he gives a chance to say yes or no. Obviously, I said yes. And oh my god, look how high level this guy is. So I'm just the osis and it wouldn't have mattered if I hit it off because I think it negates any like status like burn, tox, burn, poison, or sleep. It negates those that don't, don't affect it. And I KO in three within three turns, I believe. Yeah, keep you back some yet. Keep you back up, yay. And finally, my max spell will wear it off, so I'm gonna use another one. I hear off actually and <sighs> And the video's lagging like crazy at the moment and right you I'll spam you know, I'll spam in strength, so there's it's really lagging at the moment, I'm not sure why. Oh my god, why is it the hell that I get? I could use a protect, which is really annoying, and just saw me right there. And, oh my god, why is it lagging so much? Um, another one, up. Victory Bell. Strength, of course, it would take it down. Almost, it would take it down, and had a, had a, a, a full to pick it up, and. Flareon, take it down with Surf. King Glare, try to take it down with Surf. That only does half, and I did in a fortune do not use protect again. And another rival, it's like 10 billion rival we have, seriously. Um, and in front, oh crap, crap, it's more lagging, and I was taken out like that. And they drop your badge that they stole, and you're in to grab it, and yeah. Wow, more lag. If I were to stop watching after this, since I always want to see major lag right here. I think I'll stop the lag soon. Yeah, finally. Stop lagging, yay. Yay! No more lag. And I missed it right there. I got a Google mesh to serve. It bounces, and I'll, I really don't have anything else to switch to. And I'm like, paralyzed, and that's what people we serve. KOs, of course, which makes the happy panda. If the, pan the panda's happy, he did not get ass or something. And we're pretty much at the victory row next point, and I will I'll do that in the next part. So see you guys next time for the victory row.